Hello Taurus! This is your love reading for June 2019. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Let's see. What messages do we have for my Taurus friends for June 2019? This card wanted to show its head. We have the Three of Wands energy here. This is definitely, definitely using the Law of Attraction, I feel. Um, this is a Six of Wands, not the Three of Wands. Hmm. But, you know, that message still applies. That I feel like you guys are using that Law of Attraction and you are actually drawing um, attention to yourselves here. Okay, this is Leo energy. I feel like you are very confident during this time. Or else this is exactly a Leo that um, is significant to you guys quite possibly, okay? What's crossing you is the Ace of Swords. Hmm. I feel like this is you guys needing to, to know that exactly who you are, what you want, and having that confidence within yourself. Um, some of you, I feel, are actually seeking the attention from others to basically solidify who you are or to confirm who you are, um, your confidence level. Okay, this is for you to see the truth all by yourself that you are capable. You are capable of making the right choices, the right decisions for yourself that nobody else needs to validate you is what I'm getting here. This is self-validation, basically. Okay. Not relying on how other people react to you um, to make you feel like you are succeeding in, in, in a certain area or that you are worthy, you know. Let's see what the underlying issue is here. King of Wands energy. I'm feeling there's a, there's a Leo. I feel that is significant for a lot of you. There's a Leo here and I feel like before the issue here is that maybe this individual um, is an attention seeker. Okay, Maybe you guys feel like you know you have to kind of um, compete with others for this person's attention, maybe that was an issue in the past, is that you felt like you always had competition, like you always had to almost be vying for this person's attention. Or this is just the confidence that has been lacked before in oneself. Not standing in your own power, um, and not taking the initiative, you know, to do things in in your life, and waiting for somebody else to kind of like validate what it is that you believe in the things that you want to do or wanted to do. Let's see the recent past, the Knight of Swords. We have Air and Fire here. I feel like whoever this is, this person really um, can light a fire under you. Either way, either either there is like this great spark and you're very attracted to this person or this person can make you very, very angry. Um, but in the recent past, I feel like, you know, there's somebody that I feel said something. Um, or this person has said things to make you feel like they could have whoever, whatever they wanted to. Um, but, and, 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 and doing that, it kind of made you feel, I, I think, that 
um, that they were much more than what they actually were. Okay? It kind of like, you know, shattered your self esteem, is what I'm getting here. Ooh, okay. A lot of cards falling out. Five of Wands, I see there. A lot of conflict, I feel. Um, a lot of toxic energy as I'm looking at the devil over here. Um, codependency, I feel. Lack of um, decisiveness, you know, kind of just having you in limbo. I, I feel like there was th this, whatever this was, was very toxic for you guys here. But yet, still, you're drawn to them, and they're drawn to you too. <clears throat> Let's see what your crowning thoughts are here. Queen of Cups, you still care for this person very, very much. You still care for them. But the thing is, you're not willing to extend yourself like you were. I think if you can see that this person has changed or they're willing to give just as much as you, I think you'll take your hand off that cup and I think you would offer. Um, but your love is not unconditional at this point as I feel like it once was. I feel like it definitely comes um, with a contingency that this person be willing to contribute just as much as you, if not more. There is definitely still a lot of love here for this person, but you're not just falling all over them. You're not wearing your heart on your sleeve anymore. Um, I think you are very level-headed when it comes to this individual. I think, too, that a lot of you guys are waiting for this person to, to say something to you, to speak up. You're not making any moves, I don't feel. Let's see, what's coming in for my Taurus friends? What's coming in for Taurus? Ten of Swords. This is feeling betrayed, stabbed in the back. Um, feeling like you, you were the one that, you know, you always was trying to communicate, um, work things out, and this person was steady, basically throwing swords at you, and no matter what you tried to do, um, it, it was like it was never good enough, is what I'm getting from you. Gemini energy here. It was never good enough. I do feel like you guys are feeling like, you know, you're never going to have the truth from this person. Um, maybe this is somebody that, that, you know, they do a lot of, like, smoke and mirrors here. I feel like this person is definitely coming back. I don't know if they are going to bring that same type of energy that you did not care for before. I'm not sure. Let's pull some more cards. As a matter of fact, I'm going to clarify that Ten of Swords here in a second. Let's do that right now because I want to see why this Ten of Swords is coming in. Why is the Ten of Swords coming in for Taurus? Please show me. Why is the Ten of Swords coming in for Taurus? Why is the Ten of Swords coming in for Taurus? Please show me. Why the Ten of Swords? Okay. Huh. This is the Three of Cups. But when I picked it up, I mean, it kind of spun around a little bit. But when I picked it up, it was in reverse. Because in reverse, the Three of Cups is like... Things are not going to work out emotionally um, the way that one plans for it to. So this is the thing. I'm feeling like there's a Cancer Gemini energy here. There's also a Leo energy here. But I'm feeling like there's somebody that's coming in that is coming with the same crap that you guys have dealt with before. And they're wanting to reunite, um, reconnect, 
on an emotional level, but I don't feel like they're coming forward with the the full truth. They're not coming forward with transparency. And again, I feel like here with this Queen of Cups, with her hand over the cup there, if you see, you're, you're going to know this when you see it. Even though this person may be coming back, you know, saying, oh, I want to be with you, this, that, and the other, they're still not as transparent as you need for them to be. And so when you don't do what they feel like um, they expect for you to do or expect for you to, how they expect for you to react, then they feel betrayed. Because again, I feel like this individual you know they've been very confident and cocky towards you before in the past and, and made you feel like they could have anyone and anything that they wanted but when they come back with this with this um, this ten of swords energy you guys are not having it so um, that is what I'm getting from that let's see how you're viewing this situation the Ace of Wands, I feel like you guys want to start over. I think you want a new start. I think you want to um, do something different here. Okay. I think you're willing to start over with this individual that's coming in for you. But I think you need to see some initiative from them. You need to, to hear some truth from them. And um, they need to show you that what they're willing to do. To be in this connection with you guys here. What is the influence for Taurus? The Hermit. You're wanting to see the truth. You're wanting the truth. You're trying to figure out. Um, this is the thing with the Hermit energy. The Hermit is looking for the one. Okay. But the Hermit is no fool. The Hermit is a very spiritual energy. And I feel like at this point, you guys are more than capable of using your discernment, even seeing past the fact that you care very deeply for somebody. You are able to see through the bullshit. And I think that is what's influencing this situation right now because it's like, yeah, I do love this person. I do care for this person, but I do not love them unconditionally to the point where I will accept their bullshit here with this Ten of Swords. Yeah, they act like they want to reunite with me, but I still feel like something is not clean in the milk. You know, let's see. Taurus hopes or fears. The moon. This is seeing things clearly. Yes, you have very deep feelings, but there are some things that you still do not know. You want to be able to see past your feelings for this person and not let them manipulate you or emotionally manipulate you as you feel like they may have before in the past. You want to see things clearly. You don't want to be in a position where this person could possibly pull uh, something over your eyes. You know? Let's see what the overall here is. What is the overall for Taurus? There's a decision to be made here. This is judgment. Mm -hmm. You will decide one way or the other. If this person has changed enough where you guys can move forward and start over again, you're, you're faced with a decision in the month of June. Oh, for a lot of you guys, what is it that you want to do? For some of you, it's like really kind of figuring out, was there a betrayal here? Not really knowing whether or not you want to reconnect with this person. Because there's something I feel like um, a lot of you guys want to hear from this person. There's something about um, dating and seeing other people that um, that is not sitting well with you guys. You guys are wanting to talk about... Um, some issues, some behaviors that this person has exhibited before in the past before you can actually move on. So in the month of June, my Taurus friends, there is um, a very 
important decision that you guys will need to make. Now, with judgment, this is a thing. Whatever you decide is going to have long-term consequences. So, you want to make sure that you you are seeing things clearly here with this moon energy. Um, so that you can make a right and just decision uh, for yourself and for the other person involved. So we have Cancer energy, Scorpio, Pisces energies here, um, Gemini, Virgo, uh, I'm, I'm feeling strong Leo energy here and maybe Aquarius, okay? It's not limited to those signs, but that's just the energy that I see present, guys. I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.